Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to jump on and talk about the Belly Buster. This is a protocol that is amazing for women to go through. I'm gonna talk about why specifically. Um, and my biggest mission and passion in life is to educate women on overall whole food, whole food nutrition that is gonna impact your life in a major, major way. So I wrote a whole book called The Female Fat Solution on nutrition that matches your hormones, your cycle, how to really work with your body instead of fighting against it. It's on Amazon, you can pick it up if you haven't read it yet. Um, I also have a podcast called The Female Health Solution where I deep dive into everything. So I am going to be doing an in-depth podcast on this also where I deep dive into even more things. So stay tuned for that. Um, hi, Miranda. Hi, Tina. <laughs> um, but one of the things that when I chat with women every day, <laughs> my, you got my attention with Belly Buster, right? This is one of the things for women that is so frustrating and can be such a struggle. Um, so if you find this information helpful, I would love and appreciate you to share this message, to help me share my, mess my mission with other women and just click that share button because so many women struggle with simple little things, not understanding that a lot of times it's your body physiology that's just different. So you have to work differently with it to get a better result. Hi, Cheryl. Yay. Happy Wednesday. Um, so it's not hard to do, right? It's just adding something into your day, but it's a routine that when applied correctly changes a lot. And, um, and I'm, I'm going to talk about why, what the, what it is and then why it works. Cause that's, women want to know why, right? Like there's usually no magic pill out there that really does, a, you know, that does it for you. But something like this can make a huge impact on the female body specifically because it works with our physiology totally different. Women have, and I have a whole chapter in my book on this, but women lose weight differently than men do. They gain muscle differently than men do. Um, our physiology changes throughout the month. So we are never the same body week to week that we're working with. Jenny, love the belly buster. Yes, right? So to really make a lasting impact on your body and system, it's really important that you're incorporating certain things that work with your physiology. So just kind of keep that in mind. Again, if you have questions on how this works or if you want to chat with me, you know, you can always ask questions below the video. I'll put a link where you can schedule a call with me and we can chat one-on-one -on -one about if this would be a great protocol for you to incorporate in your routine. Um, but essentially what it is, is it is protein, having some greens, and sleep at night. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Protein, you're going to look for, again, I always talk about that protein muscle synthesis occurs at at least 20 grams of protein. So that's what you're going to be looking for approximately, you know, something like that, at least 20 grams here. So I love a protein powder. You're not going to want sugar. You're, you're going to want to be very specific with it. So again, if you have questions on what the right thing is, again, either schedule a call or you can message me or comment below but you're gonna want just straight protein. You do not want a lot of sugars here because the, the body at night does not process sugars well, but you want it to upload protein. So around 20 grams of protein because that's the magic uh, threshold for protein muscle synthesis. And you're gonna want greens for the fiber piece of it. You can use some powdered fruits, right? Or But powdered greens is perfect. Um, again, it's gonna help your body break down those proteins a lot easier and to upload them. Plus it's extra nutrient for your body um, that's not fibrous, uh, too much too much like hard fiber that it has to digest. It's already broken down, it's in a powder, right? It's not like eating a huge salad before bed. Oh, the thought of that just makes my stomach hurt. But it's already broken down, so it uploads really, really nicely. And then you're sleeping. So then you're doing this about 30 minutes before bedtime right? Specifically, your body, and I'm going to talk about how this physiologically works in your system. Your body produces growth hormone most optimally between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. So if you are doing this, say you go to bed at 10, great, 9.30, you get this belly buster in, and the, again, this is it, you know? <laughs> it's not tough. Um, but you get this in at, say, 9.30, and then you're off to sleep at 10, your body starts cranking up that growth hormone that's gonna upload that protein, help protein muscle synthesis even more in your system. It actually causes you to build more lean muscle more quickly 
and that's gonna help you get into that fat burning zone. For women, one of the most common nutrients I find that we're missing in our diet day to day is protein. I talk about it so much because we're just not getting enough. And that affects your energy, your stamina, your, your ability to lean out, to be strong, right? And then we're not talking like big and bulky. It's actually really tough for women to get like bulky. Our muscles are not designed to get bulky. They're designed to be strong, but smaller. But if you don't have that muscle, you know, foundation, your body can't get in that fat burning zone. So really, really important to kind of, you know, think of and play around with these, you know, these ideas about your physiology is a, is a little bit different. Um, best explanation you've heard on this. Oh, good. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. And this is, oh, we're just getting in the beginning of it. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm so nerdy about it. I love it. Uh, I get excited. I'm like, let's talk about your cells. Okay, so this is what it is. That is how it works in your body. It works with your growth hormone to produce more muscle tissue. Now, for women, I'm going to talk about progesterone and why this is important. So you think about when you're incorporating this in your cycle. How long should you do this? How many days should you do this? I would do it for at least two weeks right? Like give it a good two week go of doing this religiously, you know, at pretty much every night for a couple of weeks and see your results. If you're doing it for a couple of days, would I expect to see anything like phenomenal happen? No, right? No, not really. But a couple of weeks, you should notice, you know what? I'm sleeping really well. Uh, I'm noticing I'm, my waist is getting, you know, smaller. Why? Because a lot of things are happening. Your digestive system is going to work a lot better. One of my really good friends, and if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I'm going to share. One of my really good friends was like, oh my gosh, I am super regular with doing this. And I was like, I know, right? So great. It's super big boost for your digestive system. So there you go. It like shrinks your waist and women lose weight differently than men, meaning the scale may not change right away, but holy cow, are you going to lose those inches? Just whoop because you are building that muscle and actually burning fat, which just changes the percentage for you, not necessarily the scale right away. Again, for women who just drop a lot of weight on the scale really quickly, not a healthy way to do it. So let's talk about, so again, you're gonna do this, let me write that down. You're gonna give it at least two weeks of a, a you know, every night for two weeks, giving it a go. So there's that. Now, um, progesterone. Progesterone is most uh, dominant in your system, in the female system, from about days 15 to 28 of the cycle. Progesterone does a lot of things. It makes it tougher for you to recover from workouts. Um, it kind of slows down your energy. It slows down your digestive system. So a lot of these things are going to be really helpful. It can actually cause some insomnia. <laughs> hey, for those of you that ever have had kids, right, and you've ever had pregnancy insomnia, oh, progesterone. It's just, it's great. But progesterone overall, when we talk about the effect on your results, like you're, you're eating healthy, you're working out, you're trying to get to these new levels of results, right? Here's the difficulty that what, um, for women and what progesterone does. So I don't want to say this like in a necessarily bad way, but it's just something to be aware of and, and to sort of navigate around. Once you know that this is the setup for you, it'll make sense of, oh, this is why sometimes when I go to the gym, I feel like it's way easier versus, oh, it can be a heck of a lot harder to get through a workout or I get, I get really hot really easily or I feel like I, I don't sweat, you know, or I sweat too much or all these other things, right? It's friggin' progesterone. So progesterone actually decreases muscle synthesis naturally. So it's a lot harder to build lean muscle when your body's higher in progesterone. What's the best way around that? Increase your protein. Do that throughout the day, protein pacing, everything else, right? And I have a lot of videos on that. But overall, adding in something as simple as the belly buster before you're going to bed, great way to boost your protein at the right time to build lean muscle most optimally in your system while it's resting. Ah! <laughs> So that's what it's going to help. The other thing it does, progesterone does, so it actually will turn that around. It will help turn that around. The other thing that progesterone does, especially when it breaks down muscle tissue, is that it will actually increase fat storage signals. And when those fat storage signals are cranked up, it tells your body, hey, everything you eat, let's pack it away in a fat cell. You eat a salad, pack it in a fat cell. There you go. You're welcome. Not what you want, but that's what that's what your body hormones do. So when you are able to switch this around, it actually turns this signaling off. That's really fun. 
right? Super fun. And it's a simple procedure. It's a simple thing to do. Just, just make sure you're doing it every night for at least two weeks. Protein, get some powdered greens in there. Get some good sleep. If you need help with sleep, you know, sometimes it's good to you know, I have a, I have something to help me sleep sometimes um, because it's it can be tough to get to sleep, stay asleep, and get that deep sleep. That's really important for your rest, for your recovery, especially in this phase here because cell turnover happens differently here. Um, but this will really impact uh, this phase greatly. Sometimes it may feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm making a ton of progress, you know, and then other weeks you're like, what is happening? Perfect time to incorporate the belly buster to really make sure you are continuing to make progress throughout this. Um, yes, you take progesterone every night with your bioidentical hormones. Leslie, that is a great question. Um, so that's a great point to schedule a call because that's a little bit different, you know, for, for gals that if you're on HRT or if you're on a birth control or something like that, you can still overall follow the same protocol and you'll still get benefits from it. You'll still, again, you'll get more protein muscle synthesis because growth hormone is, you know, more active at night between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Crazy, right? But again, if you're not sleeping well between those times, that's screwing up your growth hormone production naturally. Ugh, you don't want that. You don't. So, so this is a really easy protocol. It's one of my favorite things to incorporate for women to make a, re, you know, to have them feel better and start to really see and feel some changes happen. Again, not on the scale, not necessarily on the scale, but in, you know, in your, you know, in your pants, and if you take a before and after picture, you know, that type of a thing. So, um, so I would love to, you know, know who would be interested in doing a little challenge around this. You can comment below. Again, you can message me privately if you're not comfortable, you know, commenting, or you can just schedule a call and we can chat about starting something like this for you, what that would look like and how to go through it so that you are doing it successfully. Um, and if you're worried about any little hiccups that you may have with your own system, again, we can navigate that, right? Just cause you know, you may have different hormones or something going on. That doesn't mean that you don't get to take advantage of some of the, you know, wonderful things from just incorporating protein at night. Yes. Let's do a challenge. Yes, Suzanne, let's do it. <laughs> All right. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, again, I would so love and appreciate if you would share this message with other women, because so many women just don't understand that something simple that can make such a big impact, such a big impact. So, um, let me know your questions. I'll put a link below where you can schedule a call with me and I will chat with you guys soon.